It's a normal day at Wind Army Community Hospital when the sound of the intercom system breaks the silence. Code Gray, Mascal Decon Team Activation. Exercise, exercise, exercise. Fifteen soldiers are en route to the emergency department after their van collided with a flatbed truck carrying 55-gallon drums of chlorine. Wilson Rodriguez, Military Treatment Facility Emergency Manager for Wind Army Community Hospital monitors the situation from his seat in the Emergency Operations Center. In every situation, every exercise, is going to be chaotic. But it's how the command and the Emergency Operations Center and the leaders of each department gain control and overcome those on-the-spot incidents. The scenario is moving smoothly so far, but this exercise will test the resolve of the entire hospital. So although they still know it's an exercise, but they have to fully respond like it was for real, how they treat the cancer to stop the bleeding, restore breathing, secure the hospital. Medical readiness is one of the most important aspects of this exercise. The realism and the ability to train in a real world scenario helps the MassCal support team achieve that. You can only do so much brainstorming, trying to critically think a situation through in your head. You have to actually be hands-on, carrying the patients, getting them through the rooms, being faced with unexpected circumstances. And that's how you improve. Once the soldiers are grouped by the severity of their injury, they are led into a decontamination suite. There, the decon team springs into action. The team decontaminates non-ambulatory casualties and makes sure they watch for contaminant spill-off from the victims. For the immediate casualties, such as the soldier with the pole perforating his abdomen, the team carefully removes the clothing around his injury and skillfully cleanses and decontaminates the area. Captain Laura Hain, team lead for the primary care MassCal support team, transfers the immediate injured soldier to the emergency suite with the help of her team and instantly takes action, assessing the situation and preparing the soldier for surgery. So you have to think about he's been in a hazmat situation, so he's at risk of chemical exposure and complications to his breathing. Just looking at an object impaled in his abdomen, I was thinking about blood loss, thinking about need for surgery, need for blood products, need for additional support, and then just making sure that to not let distracting injuries cause me to miss other things. Even though the injury and scenario are simulated, Hen and her team treat the patient as if he is actually injured. You need all hands on deck. Everyone needs to have a really clear understanding of their role and clear closed loop communication. For the soldiers and staff who participated in this exercise, the training they received can be considered invaluable. And at the end of the day, it's all about taking care of the soldiers. This is critical. I think our primary function in the medical command is to provide readiness for wounded warriors. And if we don't get the battlefield training skills correct, then really nothing else that we're doing matters. For Wind Army Community Hospital Public Affairs, I'm Zach Renstrom.